Hey, what's up, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Mitchell, and tonight I went and saw Escape Room. And I didn't really see any reviews out about this. It was kind of quiet. I've seen some trailers here and there, but I never saw an actual review. Um, I'm sure there's reviews out now since the movie is actually out. But um, I wanted to just uh, give y'all my thoughts on the movie. As always, I believe in going to check out a movie for yourself. If you want to see it, then go see it. Don't take what I say. If, if you want to go see it, go see it. I'm just here to give you an opinion and review what I saw from the movie. And going into this movie, I figured it was just going to be a Saw series ripoff. Uh, this guy, he's the mastermind, and he's created this escape room, and he's trying to kill these people, and and it, it does have some of that. But to me, I actually came out very impressed. Now, is this the movie of the year? Is this the horror movie of the year? By by no means, no. But this movie is actually pretty good. Um, there are six people that they believe they've been invited to a escape room by people that are close to them, co-workers, a boss, a client, a professor, and they have a background that's specific to each one of them. Uh, but what they all do have in common, what you find out, is that they are a lone survivor of a tragic accident. Um, one... Um, fought over in Iraq, and she was the lone survivor of her crew. Um, another person was in a plane crash, and they were the sole survivor of that plane crash. Uh, another one, he was out on a boat, uh, got stranded out in, in the ocean, and he was the lone survivor of that. So each one is a lone survivor of a, of a certain scenario. And what this... Escape Room does is it makes them try to be the lone survivor, kind of fight against each other and say, hey, who's going to be the last man standing in this? It's it's a kind of a fight to the death in each room. We, you know, we lose a person, we lose a person. Um, the thing is, is the movie starts out, and I, and I hate movies that do this, but I was actually very impressed. They start out with towards the end of the movie, and... You're like, okay, well, that's how it ends. Like, why are you showing me the ending? But actually, that's not how it ends. I mean, it, it does happen, but there's a twist. And I was actually very impressed with the twist. Um, I don't want to give too much away because I don't want to ruin the movie for people, but it, a, a couple survive. And... Um, the thing that kind of irritates me about movies like this is you, you you watch it and you're you're not that impressed with the movie and you imagine other people probably won't be too impressed. So you're thinking, man, there's probably not going to be a sequel to this. But I mean, there could be. But it leaves you hanging so much that you're like, man, if they don't make a sequel, I'll never know what the end of this is going to be because it's not just this escape room. It's bigger than this is what you find out. And it just, it, it leaves you wondering, if they don't make a second one, then what happened? Um, I would say the acting is um, okay in this movie. There, there's no, like, big, huge name actors in this, and, you know, maybe that's what they were going for. I mean, it's definitely worked before with no name actors, but this one... It, the acting's okay. It's not over the top. The the dialogue is okay. Um, I have to say the effects and the way they thought out the escape rooms is fantastic. I've never personally been in an escape room, but just watching it, I was like, "That's amazing what they what they've done." And you are on you kind of are on the edge of your seat, wondering what is going to happen next to these this group of individuals. I would definitely go check this movie out. Um, now, do you have to run out right now to the movie theater and watch it? If you don't watch the movie theater, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be too brokenhearted. Wait till it comes on Netflix or Redbox or you know buy it on DVD or, or whatever your preference is. Um, but 
this movie is definitely watchable. It's it's a B movie, but it's it's fun. It's a fun movie that you can get engaged with these characters and and wonder, you know, what room is coming next and 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 just the way they thought out these rooms to me is is phenomenal. Uh it's actually what made the movie. These these rooms is what made the movie and some of the deaths are good. Um I wouldn't say they're they're great, but the fact that the the room and the way they thought out the room is the way they're dying is is good to me. Um, and and honestly, when when they're trying to solve the puzzles in the room, to me, I started thinking, you know, oh well, what is this? You know, how do they solve this puzzle? And and so you kind of get engaged with the movie. And like I said, the twist at the end, you you never see it coming, and. And hopefully they make another one just so I can go and see what happens with the remaining characters that are still alive. Um, so hopefully I didn't spoil too much for you. This is my first time reviewing um, a movie on YouTube. Uh, so let me know if you've seen it or you want to see it or what you think of the movie. Uh, comment down below. Um, but I would give this movie a 3 out of 5. Um, it's not great, but it's not horrible. It's... It's kind of a B movie that's a guilty pleasure. It's fun to watch. So go check it out, whether it's at the theater or after it comes out on DVD or whatever your preference is for watching. Um, but make sure you subscribe to the channel and be on the lookout for more videos. And let me know in the comments what you think and any improvements I can do. And peace out.